Nancy here with Acting Out and Other Aspirations. It's really early in the morning. Well, it's summertime, so it's 8 o'clock here in Texas, and to me it's early. I've been up since 7. It should be illegal to wake up that early on a summer, and I'm drinking my little coffee from my little coffee mug. My daughter made this drawing at school, and they have this really cool website where you can go and they upload all her art, and my mom got me this for Christmas. It says, World's Greatest Mom Artwork by Hannah. It's just my favorite Christmas gift, my favorite mug. Anywho, I wanted to check in with you today because I was writing some more articles for the ebook that I'm working on for the business of acting in Texas and how to become an actor in Texas. And I was doing some research and I love listening to actors speak, like Kate Winslet and um, Michael Caine. I love his advice. I love it. Um, you know, Robert De Niro, all the, the big actors out there in Hollywood. And I always wonder how they get started. We have a lot of actors that get started here in Texas. And I love the idea that we have access to Hollywood. If that's one of our goals, if one of your plans is to make it to Hollywood, you have a doorway. You have, an, you have a way to get there. Uh, there is some work involved, and but you can do it. You know, it's, it's just like anything. It's just like when you decide to go to school to be a teacher or a police officer, you have to go through the training, you have to go through the academy, you have to take the exams, you have to pass the exams. Well, with acting, it's a little bit different because it's not as guided as the other careers. Um, if you decided to go into it for college, then that's awesome. I wish I could have done that. I wish I had a degree in theater. I wish I had a degree in film. And you know what? It's not too late. I'm, I'm going to go through community college. Um, I think it only takes two semesters for the certification, I believe. So I'm going to look into it. But I, you know, I'm in my 30s. I'm a single mom and I still have to work and I want to act. So I have to sacrifice something and I feel like I'm on a roll right now. I don't want to stop auditioning or attending workshops and things. I, um, I don't know. Anyway, so I wanted to talk to you about, um, you know, re rejection. And I know I've touched on this before because um, it's part of the process of being an actor, especially in the first year. But it's really important. So for those of you that have been following my vlogs or my videos or my audios and you keep going to auditions and you don't hear back from anybody or maybe you call, you know, you got calls for one or two callbacks but then never heard back or got a no, don't take it personally, you know. Um, most of the time, the reasons for them rejecting you has nothing to do with you personally at all. They may have already promised that role to somebody else. And I know I keep saying that, but it's the truth. They may be looking for somebody specifically, like um, with a specific height, you know. Um, if they've already cast the other members of the family, for example, or the other members of whatever, then you have to be real realistically look like you could fit in, you know? Um, if the entire family is Caucasian, I'm not going to be one of the family members, unless I'm an in-law, but I, that's not what I was you know, auditioning for, or there's no in-law, you know, in, in, that, in that film or project. So don't take it personally. Some things are just out of your control. There's nothing that you did wrong, um, provided that you you know, didn't offend anybody and you were nice to everybody and you did your job, you were manageable, um, that you played along with the director when they asked you to do different things, provided that you were in it prepared. So this is for the people that prepare themselves, that feel like they had an amazing audition and for sure they're going to call me back and then it didn't happen. Don't take it personal. Just throw away the sides on the trash can. Don't hang on to them. There's nothing you can do now. You know, usually when I started, I used to drive back and like, oh, I can't believe I said this. I should have done this. I can't believe I told them. That's now how I rehearsed it in the bathroom or in the shower. True story. I said that once and the director's like, weirdo. So don't take it personally. 
Um, there's an episode of Friends that I like to remember whenever I don't hear back from the casting directors. Um, it was at Chandler's and Monica's wedding, and Joey is trying very hard to impress a Broadway director, and he's like, I'll do anything, I can do it all, I'm really good. And the director says, can you be an African woman? <laughs> and af after that, it's like, okay, well, yeah, I, I can't do it all, obviously. So don't take it personally. Keep going to auditions. Keep studying. Keep preparing yourself. And if you have any questions, send me a message or leave a comment. If I don't know the answer, I will find out for you. And together we can learn. And I hope to meet you someday. And have a good day. Talk to you later. Bye.